Hey, it's the boy Dave here, aka Sean from MSB Close Up Studios. And today, we're going to be reviewing the movie Thor. But first of all, don't forget to like us on Facebook, subscribe on YouTube, alright? Bonfire! Synopsis. All right, let me break this down. So basically, Thor chilling in Asgard, enjoying life mm -hmm. after coming back from whatever journey he went upon in at the end of I think Avengers: Infinity War. Yeah, I think so. Right. So this is to fill in the gap. <laughs> right. So this is to fill in the gap. No. So basically, he come back and find out that Loki, Loki impersonated Odin. Odin, the right. father. So basically, no. This evil force emerged that Odin had to put with this woman named Hela. Their sister. She turned out to be them sisters. They've just said. So basically, Hela now. Lady Death. The first thing she do, destroy Mjolnir, mm -hmm. the hammer, and cast Thor off into this galaxy where he know the end up in this gladiatorial situation where you go fight to the battle, fight to the death, battle style. Yeah. And he just reunite with Hulk, and then them's go And Loki. And Loki. And the Valkyrie. And the Valkyrie. Play by Tessa Thompson. Play by Tessa Thompson. Woo woo, you're on the And then he's gonna find his way back now to save Asgard from this evil force. Yeah. That's it. Play by um, Kate Blanchett. Kate Blanchett, man. A boss. Thoughts on the entire movie. Hmm. All right. Well, Chris Hemsworth, Thor. My Chris Hemsworth is Thor forevermore. I mm -hmm. uh, can be sad the day he actually put down the the, the mantle. Are hey, you supposed to get replaced by a woman? Well, uh, we can see, we can see, but basically rumors. Chris Hemsworth is Thor, so there ain't really much to be said. Mm -hmm. He he's sporty when it's time to throw down the hammer and throw down some action. You know he can handle himself in that regard too. And it was just good seeing the continuation of Thor's story. Yeah. Well, see, really see. I'm not really a Thor fan. Only in the comments. They're not like the number one or number two, especially number two. I hate it. I was really looking forward to number one. Chris Hemsworth getting into mad man shit for that movie. I was like, yeah, he had a look. He's one of the few characters that played a superhero that had looked like the actual character. Mm -hmm. Right? Um, again, Chris Hemsworth is Thor. You say, I can't, I can't fault anything the man is do. He's bringing the, the shit. He's got the action down. He's got the comedy down. He's got the dramatic side down. He is Thor, He's people. Thor. You know? Um, so, again, this Thor, the best Thor movie hands down. Director Taika Waititi, 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 did a fantastic job. Oh, I almost broke my tongue. Yeah, Taika Waititi. Yeah, can't get me though. So Hulk, man, I mean, yeah, you know the movie about Thor, but Hulk was in this movie too. Yeah. Hulk came real, but. My, it was good seeing Hulk in the trailer, because I think now I get a lot more people to come up to the cinema mm -hmm. to see what Hulk would do in this gladiatory gladiatorial situation yeah and uh, basically it was good to see mark ruffalo character as bruce banner too mm -hmm. see he back on screen again because we didn't see he for a few movies yeah. so uh, it's good to see the old boys reunite man i i had i like the movie overall uh -huh. what i didn't like is how to change it the concept of the movie tour ragnarok mm -hmm. and added planet hulk into it mm -hmm. i really wish that i could have had a planet hulk movie by itself mm -hmm. because it took away a lot from from planet hulk yeah right um i don't know what to call it ragnarok it should have been Planet Hulk because it's it where they went to was actually where in, in the comic books was actually Planet Hulk, mm -hmm. right? It wasn't Thor Ragnarok. Thor was nowhere in there. Who they had was Be Better Red Bill. Yeah, Better Red Bill. Yeah. Better Red Bill. He was in the in there, mm -hmm. right? So I would prefer to see him on the planet instead of Thor coming there. Yeah. I would like the Hulk and him to meet up in a different circumstances, but not on that planet. Yeah, right? yeah. I, I prefer that was Hulk own part of the story so I don't really appreciate that part yeah. at all um, but again Hulk do we supposed to do with Hulk smash he smashed Hulk this movie kick one. Not, but he kicked Thor but Hulk Thor picked that one uh, yeah we fought well, who won? I won I'll tell you but I tell you I don't think that sounds right <laughs> you know and you know what else to me I like Hulk actually developing speech now mm -hmm. yeah, like, as every like movie passes you see he talk more and more yeah he ain't just a dumb dumb yeah he ain't a dumb dumb no more low key low key Tom Hiddleston he don't keep a low key at all, though. I can no, tell you that. Not he, at all. The man is just the, the master of mischief here. Well, he did keep a low key in this movie because he did not let the grandmaster, that was his name, I can't remember the name of the Jeff Goldblum's character. Yeah, yeah. But he did let his, his character know how mischievous he was. He was keeping it on the low down, on the low key, low down, whatever. Yeah, low key, yeah. low down. <laughs> uh, till Thor hit, yeah, sorry, around out. Yeah, then, he, then he don't know Thor. But yeah. <laughs> He again was up to no, no good in this picture. You know, the, the part of the movie I think everybody cackled at was when Thor and uh, Hulk was fighting. Mm -hmm. And Hulk get Thor the same move that Loki get in the first Avengers. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. And Loki jump up all of them. That's how I see him! <laughs> <laughs> that was it. 
<laughs> that was real. So I ain't lie. But you see, you see me look, you see how how look react. Yeah. When yeah. he saw Huffy the first thing, and when he was talking charm, and then he knew. Or then he didn't know who the charm here was. But when you see Hulk boy, he feels hit the ground, man. That's a face you ain't want to see ever again. <laughs> no, boy. He he had make me with Huffy for years. I am a god, you lonely creature. <laughs> 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 a puny god. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, boy. Loki, Tom Hiddleston, again, bring it. Fantastic actor. Uh, so much range. I was, again, impressed with him. Again, he did everything he was supposed to do. He was a semi villain. Well, he's an anti hero. Anti hero. At this point. Yeah, he started as a villain, but Loki gets to a point now where you just love to hate Loki, man. Yeah. You can't get rid of him. I hate so. to love him. Yeah, we well, hate him. You know? Again. Props off. Hats off to uh, Tom Hiddleston. Large off Tom, man. And we can see what he's doing. Infinity War. Infinity War. So let me see how that can go. Probably gonna dead. I don't know. I hope Just not. guessing. I hope not. Tessa Thompson. Beautiful woman. <laughs> I got it. Dave, I ain't gonna let you take this one call. I, I realize that when it comes to she, you like you got a soft spot. So I can I can let you take this one. My mom and wife is watching this picture here. Don't worry, don't worry, she she far away. She in a trap. She in a trap. I, I can I can let you take this one. Me? Okay. I can let you take this right one. Secure on my meal. Anyhow, yeah, so uh, Cree. She was in Creed before. Yeah. She again played her part, supporting character, love interest. Mm -hmm. In this movie, I don't, I don't know if I would call her love interest. They were flirting a lot in the picture. You know, I don't know if that's been leading. I don't know. You know, but I, I think that Natalie Portman character, Jane, she's a little too soft for me. My Thor, Thor needs somebody yeah. that. Thor needs somebody. The warrior! That could take some licks, man. That's <laughs> yeah. It's a man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Tessa Thompson. She did what she was supposed to do. I was interested when she was on screen. I wanted to see more of her. I would like to see some more fun scenes for her. But we didn't get it. But again, what, what we got, I was pleased and happy with. I tell you this though, she do not drinking in this movie for a woman. Yeah, alcoholic. Yeah, because you ain't really cussing the scene with, with a bottle in the, mm. in the hand all the time. So, so that was... At least she didn't smoke in. I could deal with the alcohol. I hate smokers. Well, yeah, always want them in. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But Valkyrie, she was a good character. And you got to see a little bit story as to how she get drunk for drinking. Yeah. She wasn't drinking for no reason. Correct. And I don't yeah. know if we can see she anything Probably else. Probably the for that game. Yeah, I don't know if we can see she anything else, but it'd be nice to see she again. I, I believe, I honestly believe she's going to be in Infinity War as well. I didn't check up to see, but finally the way the picture ended, I yeah. tell myself, yeah, she's going to be one of the future yeah. stars of the, the uh, Marvel Universe. She will be good backup for true. You know what would be tight though? Mm -hmm. To see a movie about the Valkyrie. What, what do you think? It would be nice because a lot of some of the best looking shots in the movie yes. was the Valkyrie shots and things. Right, you know your white horse, right, 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 or Pegasus or whatever it's yeah. called. Them. Yeah, yeah, my that was they nice. They had a horse, they had a unicorn. Nah, they had a unicorn, it's flying horses, flying horses. Yeah. It was fine, it was like a movie. Good movie. Alright, the villain of the story. Let me take this one. No, you know, the good thing about these superhero movies is that every time you look wrong, no, them bring it in. Greater and greater acting talent. Mm -hmm. A list Oscar worthy talent. And yeah. that is tell you a lot about these movies. These movies raising the stakes, man, raising the caliber. No Kate Blanchett, some will call she arguably the greatest female actress living right now. Yeah. Boss. You know that's debatable, but boss. she's she's supposed to be one of the bosses in Hollywood. And mm -hmm. to see she in this movie as the villain, it was it was it was refreshing and she played the part well. Hello. I like when she heard the dong though. She looked she looked nice. Yeah. Um Again, we can agree to disagree. I thought that the villain was okay. Again, for a Marvel villain, I wasn't surprised, you know. Um, yeah, yeah. Nothing spectacular to me. She had power, she was powerful, maybe a bit too powerful. I don't understand how the beat she. I don't understand how this man beat she from Asgard, that, that uh, the Ragnarok thing that they released. Mm -hmm. I don't understand how he beat she because she's supposed to be all, all powerful on Ragnarok. Yeah, so, well, she mashed up me on there in the palm of she had like okay. So if Thor beat him, I don't understand how she can't beat that. Because she didn't kill Thor when yeah. Thor not full strength. Right? So I don't understand it. it. It threw me off a little bit. I thought she was um overacting sometimes. Things that, that were done in the movie that weren't called for it. Mm, okay. Certain antics and stuff. I, I don't get me wrong, I she was a okay villain. She wasn't the best villain. I'm not yet to see Black Panther, so I haven't seen Michael B. Jordan's character. As Killmonger. I, I hear Killmonger is a Bad man. So yeah. yeah. Well, I was saying this about Kate. Mm -hmm. Maybe this might not be the best form for she to be actually best superhero movies. No, I will say that. I will say you yeah, a good actor can play any part, or actress, I should say, can play any part. So I don't think it, it, the fact that how she played the character, I think it's how the character was written. Again, is the writers on Marvel nothing to do with Taika Waititi? 
right? His direction, maybe a little bit because he had to direct her. He mm -hmm. saw what she was doing as well. Mm -hmm. So he gonna get some lashes for that too. Tight cut with tea, right? I don't know. You you thought she was good. I, I mean, it, it's nothing that I, I need to really revisit that kind of way. Mm. She's not a villain I need to see again. Yeah, I don't need to see her again. Yeah. I will watch her again until you get the end of the end of villain. The end was nothing. <laughs> what you could do? So, overall thoughts on the movie? Um, I thought it was a solid movie, but I still had a, a few things in the movie that troubled me. There was a bit too much comedy uh, for a superhero movie. Mm -hmm. I, would, I wanted a bit more seriousness, especially on this particular matter. Ragnarok, it was a serious thing, and they don't think that they gave it the, the, the amount of seriousness that I was looking for. The gravity. The gravity. Yeah. yeah. Not gravel, gravity. Yeah. Um, so it upset me, honestly. I, I, I thought there was too much comedy in there. Too much comedy. Um, I could agree with you wholeheartedly on that. Mm -hmm. There was times when I forgot it was a superhero movie, yeah. and it, it feel more like a yeah. like a Saturday Night Live comedy special or something. So Correct. People. I ain't gonna lie to you. And there was points where. Finally! <laughs> you might well agree with me, but honestly, though, no, Dave, I, I agree with you on this one. It was, I, I guess that's what it was going for, and if that's what you intended to do, then I guess you were successful. But yeah, for me as a producing a comedy, yeah, but for me as a as an audience member, I was like, man, I ain't know about this here, especially mm -hmm. because Infinity War coming. So maybe that's why they decided to make me laugh now, because maybe Infinity War can be so dread. <laughs> we can go revisit Ragnarok to get a little solace, and you know, probably I don't know. I don't know. Um, I guess this is for Sam said that in the interview this is what they wanted to bring a comedy okay. mostly for, for the fans, right? And they produce a comedy but I guess I, I would prefer a little more action, a little bit more drama. Comedy was good, but it was a it was too much, it was a bit overboard. Alright. Mm -hmm. So overall score? I would say ten, I can get this one uh a six point five because really and truly it is one of my least favorite Marvel movies in a while. And I don't really got the desire to go back and watch it anytime soon. So Yeah, I um I watched it again since the first time I watched it. And um uh, I still enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. It still made me laugh. It did what it was supposed to do, it entertained me, right? But as a superhero movie, which we are judging it as as a superhero movie, not a comedy, right? I would give it a seven. I'm always superhero. going over me here, no matter what um, I get, get anything. I enjoy, I enjoy the movie. So when I guess I in the ten, one these days we we can get I will surprise you. Alright, no problem. <laughs> Alright. All right. So yeah, people again, thank you guys for watching in. This is your boy Dave. Gibbsy. And we really appreciate all the viewership, you know, all the support you guys are giving. Please continue to subscribe and like us on Facebook. Yeah. So people, we are out of here again. Tor Ragnarok, good movie. Thanks again for, for viewing. Alright, we are out of here. Bonfire.